It's a rare glimpse into ATF's controversial undercover operations. This photo obtained by CBS News shows an astonishing array of high-powered weapons put on display for buyers from Mexican drug cartels. ATF allegedly let gun runners walk off with weapons, thousands of them, to see if they'd end up in the hands of the cartels. The Justice Department and ATF have denied it ever happened. Special Agent John Dodson works in ATF's Phoenix office and has blown the whistle on the controversial strategy known as letting guns walk. Are there other ATF operations going on that have done the same thing? I believe so, yes, ma'am. Now, multiple sources tell CBS News the questionable tactics were used in more than one operation and date as far back as 2008 in the Tucson area. One case was called Wide Receiver. Sources tell CBS News licensed gun dealers often wanted no part of selling to suspicious characters who could be supplying cartels, but that ATF enlisted the gun dealers as paid confidential informants and encouraged them to sell even more. ATF has asked me to assist in an official investigation, reads one agreement. Gun salesmen closed the deals, and ATF watched and listened with recording devices. ATF special agents conducted surveillance and identified the dates and times that the conspirators crossed the international border, says one court document. Dodson argues that should never be done. Because a lot of people are going to get hurt with those firearms between the time we let them go and the time they recovered again in a crime. Sources tell CBS News these ATF operations involved about 450 weapons and that despite the risk, two years later, the same strategy was expanded to include thousands of guns. Katie? Cheryl Atkinson in Washington. Thank you, Cheryl.